A bunch of people were out today for the Taste of Knob Hill, sampling all kinds of food and drinks at nine restaurants and two breweries. And this event came back after a two-year pause because of the pandemic. And Scarlett Liz Jack shows us what it was like today. It is the first time since 2019 that Taste of Knob Hill is back, and people are excited, so much so that all 500 tickets have sold. The food, the smells, and the community. That's what it's all about if you ask event coordinator Chris Smith. Knob Hill's here. There's a lot of things still happening. New businesses coming into the neighborhood. Uh, so you have the, you know, the old reliables like Flying Star and Scalo, but you have new places like you know, Gather that have come to the neighborhood. And, and it's really good to see the community come out and support the local businesses. And one of those local restaurants is So Box So Bowl, where Korean flavors meet New Mexican heat. Owner John Trinick says this event is something he always wanted to be a part of. Oh, I've always liked past day. I used to be a Knob Hill resident, so it always looked like a fun time. For Alana Riddle Lance, who is new to town, she says it's a way for her to get a taste of her new community. I just moved to Albuquerque um, earlier this year, and I love the Knob Hill area. Big fan of food and beer, um, especially the brewery scene in Albuquerque, so I was just excited to come out and uh, try all the local local flavors. And it wasn't just people who were excited about the taste of Knob Hill's return. Happy to actually be out and about with people. Um, it's been a couple of years. We came a few years ago. We haven't had it since, of course. So when I saw it, I was really excited to come out and get out. And of course, my cat likes to come out and visit with everyone as well. So. <laughs> It's a good excuse for him to get out, too. Smith says although there wasn't as many restaurants this year, their turnout was just as good as previous years. Scarlett Jack, KOB4.